It's time now for campus craziness. There's an inexhaustible supply of that. Do you remember Brett Weinstein? He's the professor at Evergreen College who sparked massive protests because he refused to leave campus when ordered to because he was the wrong skin color. A principled man, uh, progressive, by the way. But that's not his only offense. A new article in the Huffington Post says his colleagues at Evergreen are asking another question. Quote, is speaking with Tucker Carlson a punishable offense? Well, for many, the answer is yes. At least four faculty have accused Weinstein of, quote, endangering students by appearing on this show. Cabot Phillips is media director for CampusReform.org. He follows this stuff for a living. That's why his hands twitch. Uh, and he, he joins us now. Uh, so, Cabot, the, uh, apparently voicing your opinions, and he voiced no right-wing opinions. Like, he's not right-wing. He's, he's a progressive. On this show, in the wrong outlet is now a thought crime. Let's be honest about why they're so angry about this. It's not because he went on a TV show. It's because he went on your TV show. And why do you have to come on your TV show in the first place? Because the rest of the mainstream media was completely quiet on this issue. He realized your show was the only one willing to actually shine a light on this. So the only way he could get his voice out to a national audience was coming on your show. And now they're accusing him of endangering the safety of students on campus. These are his colleagues. And I didn't see them too concerned about the safety of students when there were mobs going through campus with baseball bats and tasers threatening conservative students. But apparently, just the presence of you and him in the same room talking about this issue is endangering students the on campus. The funny thing is, though, I wasn't trying to change his mind on abortion no. or food stamps or anything. I, I was merely agreeing with him that free expression is important. And I thought that was a core liberal value, but I guess it's not. You would think they'd be applauding him for taking his progressive ideas outside of the bubble of academia and coming on a network where, you know, maybe there aren't as many progressives watching. You'd think they would applaud that kind of thing, him getting outside of his own bubble. But no, and we see that this is a real problem. This is a taxpayer-funded institution we're talking yeah. about, too. I think if more people understood what taxpayer money was going towards, they'd be a little bit more concerned about this. And the school's trying to cover it up, okay? The administration wanted no part of this getting into the news. They're throwing their hands up. Everything's fine here. Nothing to see here. And then when people started to see it, they freaked out. And actually, the president came out this week and admitted that they have seen a noticeable decrease in the number of students applying to Evergreen College. Well, that's, I mean, it's market forces that will fix this. And yeah. parents need to stop being passive. And don't send your kids to a school that's going to hurt them.